Today we're going to look at the discriminant. Warm up. What are the x-intercepts, also called the roots and zeros of the quadratic to the right? So if we take a look at this equation, the x-intercepts are where it crosses the x-axis. So there's two of them. One of them is at x equals 1 and one is at x equals negative 2. You can also write them as coordinates. Uh, this coordinate is negative 2, 0, and this coordinate would be 1, 0. So either write x equals or as a coordinate where the y value is 0. Number 2, write the equation uh, um, in factored form. All right, factored form is the opposite of the 0, so it would be x minus 1, x plus 2. 3, write the equation in standard form. Standard form is when you multiply it out. We can use the box right here, x minus 1, x plus 2. We'll get x squared, negative x, 2x, and negative 2. Combine like terms, and we'll get x squared plus x minus 2. So standard form is no parentheses. It's when you multiply it out. So today we're going to focus on the discriminant. The discriminant is the number under the radical in quadratic formula. So it's this part right here under the square root sign. It's the b squared minus 4ac. And today we're going to learn what does that discriminant tell us about the graph? What secret does it hold? So grab your Chromebooks and go to desmos.com. Use the graphing calculator to graph the following quadratics. Sketch the graph and then calculate the discriminant. All right, so in Desmos, you're going to go ahead and sketch this one right here. We have x squared plus x minus 20. So we'll just pull up um, Desmos. And type it in. x squared plus x minus 20. Shift 6 will give you the squared. x squared plus x minus 20. We can see that there are two... Um, solutions at negative 5 and at 4. All right, so let's sketch that. There are two answers. And what is the discriminant b squared minus 4ac? So let's first label what a, b, and c are. So here a is 1, b is 1, and c is negative 20. So let's plug in to b squared minus 4 times a times c and get that number. And we can just type that right in. And I should have put parentheses around my 1. Okay, so let's type that into our calculator. So we'll have 1 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 20. All right, so that discriminant is 81. So let's write that down. Our discriminant is 81. Okay, let's do a few more. So we're going to go ahead and graph these, and then we'll do our summary. So in class, again, we'll sketch it. We'll say the number of roots and so on. So this one right here, negative 2x squared. We'll do one more, and then you should be able to do the rest on your own. All right, so negative 2x squared plus 8x minus 6. Let's sketch that graph. So at 1 and 3, okay, so here's what the graph looks like. At 1 and 3, there are two answers, and what's the discriminant? So we need A, B, and C, negative 2, 8, negative 6. Let's plug into B squared minus 4AC, so it would be 8 squared minus 4 times negative 2 times negative 6. We'll squeeze that in there and then type it in. So 8 squared minus 4 times negative 2 times negative 6. Okay, and we get 16 for our discriminant. Okay, and then go ahead and do the next two and then we'll summarize right here and then your assignment will be the next two pages where it just asks you what did you notice about the discriminant can you find the solutions using quadratic formula okay so let's do our quick summary right here okay so when the discriminant is positive there are two solutions and a sketch and a graph might look something like this two answers it crosses twice when your discriminant is zero, there's one solution, and your graph might look like this, where it touches your graph once. 
And if your discriminant is negative, there are zero real solutions. And so our graph might look something like this, where it doesn't touch the x-axis. So the first question says, does the discriminant give you the exact roots of a quadratic equation? It doesn't give you the answer, but it does give you the number of solutions. Explain why there are two answers when your discriminant is greater than zero. And the reason is you can add or subtract that number and then divide by two. Why is there only one answer if it equals zero? Because anything plus or minus zero is the same number. And then if the discriminant is negative, why are there no roots? And you, the reason is you can't take the square root, can't take the square root of a negative number. Okay. So your directions now are find the discriminant b squared minus 4ac, determine are there two real answers, roots, one answer, or no real solutions. And if there is a real solution, finish quadratic formula and get the answers. So that will be your assignment due tomorrow.